Hello kindergartners, welcome to week five of remote learning. This week we're gonna be focusing on a character who you may have heard of before. Anyone ever heard of the little red hen? Yeah, well, if you haven't, then this is a perfect week for you. And if you have heard of the little red hen and you're thinking, Mrs. Ward, this is gonna be so boring. I already know the story. She does the stuff and then she grows and she picks it. But guess what? I have two versions of this story for you this week. So even though you may know our original version, The Little Red Hen, we're also going to read another version later in the week called The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. And we're gonna be making some comparisons. We're gonna compare and contrast things that are the same in the two books and things that are different in the two books. So make sure that you're listening even if you've heard the stories before because I'm gonna ask you to apply your thinking and your knowledge to some activities and I'm gonna help you out with those too, okay? So when I'm reading The Little Red Hen for the first time, I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you. Mm -mm. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna stop right before the book is over. And then I'm gonna talk about a writing assignment that I would like for you to do before you get to finish the end of this book. So this is gonna be part one. Then you're gonna stop and you're gonna do your writing assignment. And I'm gonna do it too so you have an example. And then you get to come back and find part two of these videos and you'll get to find out how the story ended. Sound good? Okay, well, let's get started then, right? Yeah. The Little Red Hen. Look at how old this book is. It's very well loved. The Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, a cat and a dog and a mouse and a little red hen all lived together in a cozy little house. The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. Do any of you do that? Are you like the cat? The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. I know my dogs like to nap in the sun. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. What's the mouse dreaming of? Cheese. So what do all three of our characters really like to do so far? Yeah, they take naps. So, the little red hen had to do all of the housework. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. Look at her face. She's like, bah, bah, I'm so busy. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? Cried the little red hen. So the wheat is like seeds that she found and she's gonna plant them just like you did last week. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. I will, said the little red hen, and she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat seeds and pulled the weeds. Soon, the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. Look, it's sprouting. It's sprouting out of the ground. So first there were the seeds, and then she's been taking really good care of it, watering it and pulling the weeds. And now the wheat sprouts have come out of the ground. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen asked, Who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. 
Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Okay, so she's cutting it down now. She's harvesting it. When the wheat was all cut and the little red hen asked, Now who will take this wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Who do you think is going to end up doing it? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. What did she say they're going to ground it into? Or grind it into? Flour. We do lots of baking with flour. The little red hen returned from the mill carrying a small bag of fine white powder. Who will make a cake from this fine white pout flour? Asked the little red hen. Oh, she wants to make a cake. But what do the animals say? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. She gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. Ooh, there it is. I told you this was an old book. Look at that old oven. What is she baking? Ooh, a cake. Doesn't that sound so good? Soon the delicious smell filled the cozy house. The cat got off the soft couch and strolled into the kitchen. The dog got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. The little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. We'll eat this cake, asked the little red hen. I will, cried the cat. I will, cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. And that's where we're going to stop. I want you to think about what is the little red hen going to say next? All along, she's been doing all this work, right? And she's been asking and asking her friends to help her out. Who's going to help me? And what do they keep saying? Not I, not I, not I. <gasps> but all of a sudden, when the cake is ready, what are they saying to her question? Who will eat this cake? I will, I will, I will. Huh. So even though you don't know how the story ends yet, I want you all to think if you were the little red hen, and you had just gone through everything she had gone through. Would you let the friends eat the cake? Yes or no? Think about it. Because that is the first question you have to answer on your writing prompt. Would you let your friends eat the cake? Okay, you have your answer. You have a yes or a no. Okay, good. Because now the second part is to tell me why you would let them eat the cake or why you would not let them eat the cake. So I've been thinking about this and I have my answer to my yes or my no and I have two reasons why I'm giving my answer. Are you ready to see how I'm gonna write my answer? Okay, so this is where we go on a little bit of a wild ride, right? I'm going to try to Hold the camera while I write my story. So bear with me and watch out for the puzzle pieces. Can you see it down there? Okay, I think it's pretty good. Would you let your friends eat the cake? So first I need to answer that question and I'm going to say, yes, I would. Yes, what do I need next? Oh yeah, a finger space. So there's my finger space. 
I, and guess what? The word would is right up here, so I can just copy it. W-O-U-L-D. Yes, I would, I'm gonna write share the cake. So I need to sound out share. Shh, shh, shh. Oh yeah, I know share. That shh, shh, shh sound is S-H. Shh, air. Shh, air. Uh-oh, you know what? I hear a little A in there. I'm gonna fit it in because we know words have vowels, right? And that word didn't have a vowel yet. Yes, I would share. I'm gonna come to the next line because I'm all out of room. The is a popcorn word. T-H-E, T-H-E, I can spell the T-H-E. I'm going to go back. Yes, I would share the cake. Look, again, there's the word cake. I can just copy it. I don't have to work harder. I can work smarter. Yes, I would share the cake. And then here are my two reasons why. I need to have those planned before I can write anything on my paper, right? So number one is because it is nice to share. And number two is I cannot eat a whole cake. So if I were the hen, even though they had not helped at all, I'm gonna be the bigger person and I'm gonna say, I think it's nice to share. And also I cannot eat a whole cake by myself anyways. So those are gonna be the two reasons I'm gonna put on my paper. Here we go. All right. It is nice to share. Let's see. It is nice to share. This sentence is going to have how many words in it? Five. And I'm going to start with a capital. It. It. Popcorn word. Here's another popcorn word. What is that word? Is. It is. I think it can fit nice here. That's not a popcorn word, so I need to sound it out. Mmm. I, I, it is nice to, that's a popcorn word, T-O, and share, look, I already sounded out share, let's just copy it down here again, that is reason number one, it is nice to share, and my sentence is done, so I'm putting a period. All right, I'm almost done. I'm so close. But can I stop yet? No. I'm gonna write my third sentence because I wrote, yes, I would share the cake. It is nice to share. And thank goodness I already planned my third sentence. I don't even have to think about it. Woo. I already said, I can't eat a whole cake. So why would I not share? Okay, here we go. I... Oh, another sight word, can, C-A-N. Oh, I'm so glad I know so many of these sight words. I can not, mm, uh, I like to go back and reread so I don't forget my words. I cannot eat, eat a whole, I cannot eat a whole, ha, ha, ha. Huh. Oh, huh. oh, I cannot eat a whole cake. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did it, you guys. I'm all done, right? Wait, what's that you say? Oh my gosh, you're so right. I forgot my period. I can't be done until I have my period. And then as always, if you would like to draw a picture up here, you can draw a picture to match your story. Now, I hope that that wasn't all crooked and you have to flip your screen. I just thought about that, goodness gracious. Mm. Okay, well, we'll see how it works out. Figure out if you would or would not share the cake, write down your two reasons, draw a picture if you would like to, and then come back tomorrow to listen to the end of this story. Let me know if you have any questions. See you guys.